Kamshibek Kunkabayev, the 25-year-old from Kazakhstan, striding into the boxing ring ahead of what is the biggest bout of his life, the reigning Asian Championship silver medalist, preparing to do battle for World Championship gold. Against a man he has met twice before. Mohamed Rasul Majidov is ranked number 43 in the world at present, but he was installed as the tournament number 4. Wasn't seeded in the tournament, but eliminated the tournament number 2 seed. And that is testimony to the immense amount of experience that this man possesses. Kamshibek Kunkabayev. Confirmation of that semi-final victory over Faku Arsen from Cameroon. But Mohamed Razor Majidov, a former two-time world champion, 4-1 points winner over Joseph Goodall. At the semi-final stage, Emmanuel Ferreira of Puerto Rico gives the final instructions to both boxers. So we're underway then in the 91 kilogram plus super heavyweight final between men from Kazakhstan and Azerbaijan. The boxer wearing red operating out of the South Pole stance is Kamshibek Kunkabayev. 25 years of age, ranked number 17 in the world. He's the reigning Asian Championship silver medalist. The boxer wearing blue immediately onto the front foot trying to walk down his man and getting to work with long punches is Mohamed Razor Majidov, 30 years of age now. Heaps of experience, heaps of accomplishment. The two-time world champion at 2011 and the 2013 edition of the World Championships. And this is the third meeting between these two men. And in their previous encounters, the man wearing red hasn't made it out of the second round. Stopped twice in the second round by the heavy-handed punches that Majidov possesses at his best. Well, both these boxers, Ronald, have got totally different tactics, as you can see. Kunkabayev, southpaw, got to sit back, got to create room and space, work behind his jab. He needs the distance, and he, but he needs movement here. Majidov will be encouraged from the semi-final that Kunkabayev have against Arsene. Arsene caught him with a couple of cracking right hands, and that's why Majidov's gone straight on that front foot. He's gone after him. He's confident. He's stopped this opponent before, and he knows he's got to get up close, close enough to land that big right hand and that's why he's going all out pressure attacking uh, from the man in blue Majidov and that's the tactic here but Kunkabayev got to stay off the ropes and out of the corners work behind his jab and try and create and maintain the gap between himself and Majidov those two stoppage victories came in 2012 and 2013 that's a good style poor right from Kunkabayev of course, that's when Majidov was at his rampaging pomp. Wasn't able to contest the 2015 World Championship, so didn't have the opportunity to make it three in a row and retain the title that he won in such dramatic fashion against the towering figure of Ivan Ditchko. In Kazakhstan in 2013, he was trailing in the third and final round of that gold medal bout. Ditchko was on home soil, using his jab to terrific effect. But Majidov, who had a hard-fought semi-final against Camarelli, never gave up pursuit of his man and landed a thunderbolt of a right hand that knocked 
Ditchko out of the contest and out of the tournament. Well, That's the you, kind of power he possesses. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Ron, here, he's concentrating on his right-hand Majidov, but he's got, to, he's got to throw the left hook a little bit more. If you look at Kunkabayev, keeps going back. His lead hand is just too low. He's open to a left hook more than he is the right hand. So after he's thrown the right hand, um, Majidov, then he's got to finish on the left hook here. But, and Kunkabayev, he's got to uh, keep the gap. The boxer in the red corner is the 2014 World Military Champion. He is a three times national champion. Probably trying just a little bit too hard, Majidov here. He's got caught with a couple of shots um, at distance, but soon realised that he's got to get up close to Kunkabayev. So he goes on the attack. There's a right hand there. But there, he misses with the left, but he should have thrown it as a hook rather than a straight shot. There's a long sort of hooking punch from Majidov. So that one landed, but it's definitely the left hook that he should be concentrating on. So into the second round we go then, and immediately back onto that front foot is the former two-time world champion and 2012 Olympic bronze medalist, Mohamed Rasul Majidov. There's the long left hook that you spoke about, Richie. Yeah. And his corner probably instructed him to do the same thing. He's landed with it in this early stages of this second round. Yeah, absolutely. He's going for it now. So they've obviously spotted it as well, the Azerbaijan corner. And he's coming forward with wide-eyed concentration, but he takes a hard right hand to the sternum, does Kunkabayev. Long left hand got through out of that southpaw stance, but his hands are very low. That's a risky tactic or a risky yeah, too position low. to adopt. Too low for my liking, Kunkabayev, but that's his style. What he's also got to do, Ron, if, if Majidov closes the gap down, he's got to change tack Kunkabayev with his left hand and whip a left uppercut through the middle. That's the shot he's got to... His main punch has got to be the jab, keep the opponent at bay, but if he does come close, whip that left uppercut through the middle. And he possesses good concentration, does Kunkabayev. He demonstrated that in the victory. Over the man from Cameroon, Farquhar Sen, the number five seed. We eliminated at the semi-final stage. Majidov has had a terrific run through to this gold medal bout. Not seeded, but eliminated the number two seed at the second preliminary round, Hussein Yusheshe of Jordan. And then eliminated the number seven seed, the Frenchman, Jamali Dini Aboudou Moinza. Got a measure of revenge after Moinza beat him. Oh, is there in a the cut? quarter finals, and there is indeed a cut. Yeah. The referee's calling time, and he's oh. guiding Kunkabayev to be inspected by the doctor. Let's look at the gesture from the official. Knuckles bumped together. That's been caused by an accidental clash of heads. Always an increased likelihood of that when a southpaw and orthodox boxer are sharing the ring, and it looks to be a bad one around that left eye. So if this injury causes the contest to be stopped, we will be going to the scorecards with a completed round and any portion of the round in which the bout is stopped will be scored by the five judges. Oh, my goodness, that's a violent coming together. I think there are signs as well, Ronald, that Kunkabayev is actually tiring a little bit and that break in the action might be to his advantage because uh, now Majidov knows his opponent's call. Oh, good right hand from the man in blue. And it seemed to stop... Kunkabayev in his tracks, and that left hook certainly wobbled him. Yeah. And concerned about the eyes, Kunkabayev, the blood may be dripping into the eye and restricting, restricting and obscuring his vision. He's getting sent to a neutral corner once again. The referee from Puerto Rico, Mr. Ferreira, calling up. Well, I thought he was going to call the doctor for a second time. He's happy to clean up the injury himself on this occasion. So closing stages of the second round, and it's been a big round for Majidov. And just running out of ideas and maybe running out of energy is Kunkabayev. Majidov has really increased the intensity since that injury appeared. And Kunkabayev hasn't appeared to be able to go with him. He just can't keep him at bay, can he? 
his jab is not strong enough and he hasn't got sufficient power in his rear hand or the accuracy to keep Majidov, to gain the respect of Majidov. Majidov just knows he's got to get to him, get up close. Good round for Majidov. Most certainly was. And the red corner will be working assiduously on that cut, which is a bad one around that left eye. That's in a bad place. Yeah, it's a bad position, that is, you know, that runs into the eye. So there's that left up we spoke about from Majidov. And I think his corner will have said to him to go out and, and try and throw that shot. They so, certainly saw what we saw, Ronald. Left hook again goes in from Majidov. It was a good round, a dominant round from him. There's the head clash. Accidental clash of heads, you said it. When an orthodox boxer and a southpaw meet, that occasionally happens. Bad cut, three minutes to go. And Majidov, well, he's the one now. That it's going to be like a red rag to a ball for Majidov. So we're into the third and final round of the super heavyweight gold medal bout here at Hamburg 2017. And in this third meeting between these two familiar rivals, it is the man in blue, the man who has won their two previous encounters, who appears to have the upper hand in this contest so far. He's come forward, he's got onto the front foot, and he has walked down the southpaw wearing red. Mohamed, Mohamed Rasul Majidov has landed the right hand with good effect in the first round. He brought the left hook into play in the second round. There was a violent clash of heads in the second round, which opened up an injury above the left eye of Kunkabayev. And then on the resumption after the doctor inspected that injury, which is in a very bad place, Majidov cranked up the pressure and Kunkabayev hasn't been able to go with him. Well, it's not been a bad start to the round from Kunkabayev. His corner, what they've told him, Ron, I think they've told him to, to hit and move, but stay, try and stay in the centre of the ring. But as I say that, he gets pushed back to the ropes. He started this round really well. The first minute of the round, he was holding the centre, moving around his opponent and not conceding the ground. But again, it's hard to keep this man at bay, isn't it? And he just keeps coming, Majidov. Approaching the halfway stage of the third and final round, Majidov peering between his high-held gloves, slowly walking his way in, looking to get into his own punching range where he can then load the heavy artillery. And once again, is it another injury or the same injury? Just trying to get a clear look from our vantage point here ringside at the Hamburg Sports Halle. But this man's problems mounting. Dealing with the adversity of a cut faced with an opponent who has beaten him twice before. Doctor happy for the contest to continue. And the action resumes, trying to stand his ground and poke out the southpaw one-two. Here's Kunkabayev, but he simply cannot keep the man away. Looking to his corner, looking for instruction and inspiration is Kunkabayev. His punches are becoming really ponderous now. They're slowing down, they're looping in the manner in which they're delivered, and they are not coming back to the on-guard position. He could be open for a counter. Very tired now, Kunkabayev. But he's tactically, he's doing well in this round by again holding the centre of the ring. Don't let Majidov push him back to the ropes. If he pushes him back to the ropes, then Majidov will do his better work. So a good tactical display at the moment by Kunkabayev, but the strength, and you just, you're waiting for the shot to come from Majidov. Majidov quickening up his feet, he backs him to a corner, recognising the danger. Kunkabayev intelligently gets himself out of that confined position and plant, latches on to Majidov. But Majidov quickening up the feet, applying increased pressure, trying to get to his man. Looking for another inside the distance victory. There's the 10 second clapper. It looks as though Kunkabayev is going to make it through to the final belt for the third time in this, for the first time in this, the third encounter against Majidov. But surely there can be little doubt that Mahamad Razor Majidov 
is about to be crowned as world champion for the third time. Kamshibek Kunkabayev gave it everything that he had, but he simply didn't have the tools to keep this man off, and he had greater success with his punches from both flanks. I think Kunkabayev did well to get through that round. I really did tactically. He boxed very well, holding the centre of the ring. Majidov, strong as an ox, isn't he? Just keeps coming forward. Looking for that right hand left hook. It's a terrible injury. It really is from Kunkabayev. Majidov, very dominant, I think, throughout the contest. And for me, has for me has clearly won it. But give credit to Kunkabayev in that last round, the way he got through and the way he rallied. Well, there can only be one winner, surely. Mahamad Razul Majidov is absolutely ecstatic at being declared the winner, a 4-1 split decision winner. But it was a dominant display, make no doubt about it. And Mahamad Razul Majidov joins a select group who have won three world championship titles in Aiba Open Boxing. The Azerbaijan fans in attendance here are absolutely delighted, and that is how many World Championship gold medals Mahamad Razor Majidov has won. Remember, he wasn't able to defend the title that he won in 2013 after not contesting the World Championships in Doha two years ago. And he returns to top position on the podium after a hard-hitting, powerful display against Kamshibek Kunkabayev of Kazakhstan. The 25-year-old 17th-ranked boxer in the world deserves immense credit for the competitive spirit that he demonstrated in the face of this man's incessant, effective aggression. But the moment belongs to Majidov. Three World Championship gold medals in the super heavyweight division and the last man to beat the London 2012 Olympic champion, Anthony Joshua, will occupy the highest position on the medal podium once again. Another battling display from him, Mohamed Razor Majidov is the winner and once again the world champion. A 4-1 split, but for me there was, there was no question who won that contest. Majidov very strong on that front foot. The break in play, so to speak, probably helped Kunkabayev, but he did exceptionally well, the Kazakh boxer, in that last round to get through it. And, and box to instructions because his corner will have said hold the center and move around your opponent which he did but Majidov I don't think there was any doubt on that front foot strong as an ox good kid three-time world champion that shows his quality oh, Kunkabayev picked up that significant injury in the second round and that just seemed to encourage this man further and he would not be denied on the front foot throughout and celebrating it with his corner Kunkabayev in his first appearance at a world championships comes away with a brilliant silver